Now in this video, we're gonna be creating the new files and distributed the files. So all the pages will be available by the end of this video. So let me just start it. In last video, if you haven't watched, uh, we just distributed our single file index.php in Harry Potter and navigation section. And so far we have this page. And as I told you, this index.php will be the default page so it will be you know considered as a dashboard but it will be accessible when the user will register or whether login so we have to remove this form and put this form in our registration page so let's just go and quickly create the registration page as you can see we only have index page right now so we will gonna create new file and it will call register.php and what we will have to do simply we have to go copy this paste in here so if i go and i type register.php you see we have the same page we don't have a link so let me quickly go here and now create the login page first of all let me go here and just remove this form because we won't gonna need a form here so it would be something like h2 uh, hello that's what we were gonna do in our index file now we have to create a new file and it will be called login.php cool and we have to again copy this paste in our login.php and here we will have to tweak a form a bit so we don't need this one because we will only gonna get email and password from here nothing else and the value would be login rather than registered and same thing here login here I also have to change this one enter name sorry email and here it would gonna say enter password let me just quickly copy this save this one first of all go back here and as you can see we didn't change the placeholder we have to do it now so enter name first one as you can see the other one is email so yeah we are pretty much done here and there's one more file we will need here to make and it would be logout.php right now we don't need to do anything in this all we have to do is to say log out.php it will be a complete php core file so we don't have to do anything right now because we are just working on html and page creation probably i told you or not we were gonna use object oriented programming in this course we weren't gonna use the procedural programming so you guys must know about object oriented programming we are not gonna use the very much uh, detailed object oriented programming or advanced one just gonna use a couple of you know normal thing uh, so for that you know that in object oriented programming everything is accessed by object and the object should have a class to you know manipulate or do perform any operation so in our include file we will gonna be creating a new file because you know it's just a normal small kind of a system that we are building here and it only you know need one object user because user will have login or you know email and registration and stuff so i will only gonna create a one file which is called user user.php and we will gonna be including our file up here so i'm just going back here copy this code paste here so it would be user.php don't worry about it we will gonna take care of this user.php later because all of our concepts and logic will go in this file we are going to use the mysqli object oriented built-in class that php provides us so we will just extend our user class with that class and then we will operate all the database functionality you will see it will uh, very very interesting yep so user we don't need that right now registration and other stuff has been done so let's just quickly yeah one thing left in navigation 
we have to add the correct navigation so it would be index.php and it would be login.php this would be register.php and this would be logout.php sorry I again make a mistake in our logout.php let me just echo something so you can see we are in that file logout you see it's just a u problem i always used to add it i have to close it so everything is pretty much working in index.php if you already familiar with that if we just hit the url without even adding a name of any file it will by default capture the index.php file it is the php that allow us to do something like that in our index.php file we will gonna say dashboard and by the time we will implement everything we will gonna say hello and the name of the person so it would be dynamic for everyone cool you see it's looking very nice and there is another thing that we have to add and that would be called when we will send the registration email to verify a person email so we will have to redirect that person to to a specific page so for that we will have to create that page and here is the interesting part we are not going to just give a you uh, sorry link of the registration or activation to email we will also gonna give the token to the email so the person would be have two choices whether to add the code in our you know text box that we will gonna provide in our active page or whether just you know directly copy paste the link in your browser so the user will have two types of procedure to to activate their account both of them are you know easy and it's just for the convenience of user and learning purpose for you activate.php would be the file and this would also gonna be login form not the login form it would be a form so in in that form activate your account first thing and here we will only provide one field active name would be active id would be active and we will gonna say enter your activation code and there would be a button value would be activate and there will be another thing we will gonna quickly give them a little bit of note so for note if i go back again to bootstrap and search for the footer there must be a footer available you see here so i'm just gonna copy it here and paste it right here after the ending of our card block and here we will gonna say we have sent you an email kindly activate your account and then there will be br tag of html you can copy and paste the code in above field or or just use the link to activate so if i go back here activate.php cool so we have this text here and we have to again make it text small center so it would be in center now you see nice and clean we have to change this one as well it shouldn't say password activation code and one thing that we have to do here in our header.php as you can see we have this navigation and we are implementing the nav here we won't gonna show the navigation to activation page and we will gonna do this in our next video so stick with us